Hello everyone. In this presentation, we will be talking about classification of weeds. Classification of weeds. Classification is the grouping of similar plants for convenience. Taxonomists use a system based on morphological similarities, that is form and structure, of groups of plants. One or more characteristics can be chosen which can be found in one group but not in another group. For preciseness, weeds are grouped botanically by family, genus, species and variety. Weeds can also be categorized based on habitat requirements, that is, their preferred climate and soil types, invasiveness, economic importance, life cycle and plant type or with some other criteria. In this presentation, we will not be talking about life cycle and plant type classifications. Botanical classification. The purpose of this system is to familiarize with the general principles of classifying plants. These principles will also help to provide understanding of how plants are named scientifically. It is binomial nomenclature, meaning it has two names. This system has many other advantages. For example, it is a universal language. This is because the weeds are named in Latin, which remains same or does not evolve with people's usage like common languages do. The common names can be very confusing because of the lack of uniformity from one location to another. For example, the weed Wild Morning Glory is also called Field Bind Weed, Orchard Morning Glory, Field Morning Glory, European Bind Weed, Corn Bind and Creeping Jenny. However, there is only one scientific name for Wild Morning Glory, Convolvulus arvensis. Botanical classification also shows genetic relationship of plants and sometimes it partially describes the plant as well. One common method of classifying plants is illustrated here, which provides choices from kingdom to subclass. Additional and more detailed assistance in classification choices from subclass to species follows the outline, and sometimes it may extend to variety. Each family is further subdivided into a specific genus, which is further divided into species. The genus and species designations are then used as the scientific name of a particular plant. The weeds belong to the kingdom plant. Kingdom is further divided into sub-kingdoms as Thylophyta and Embryophyta. Thylophyta includes algae, fungi and lichens. They do not cause weed problems except in some aquatic habitats. Embryophyta are the plants with an embryo. It includes chiefly land plants such as little iron weed. Subkingdom is then divided into divisions. Here the plants without vascular system such as mosses and liverworts are known as bryophyta and plants with vascular system which includes all flowering and seed plants and ferns are known as trichophyta. Division is further subdivided into class. Corn-bearing plants with exposed seeds such as pines, spruces, firs, cedars, redwoods and cycads are known as gymnospermae. And flowering plants with enclosed seeds such as Chinese hound's tongue and jimson weed are known as angiospermae. Class is then further divided into subclasses which is categorized as monocotyledon and dicotyledon. Plants with one cotyledon in the seed have long narrow leaves with parallel veins, fibrous root system and flower parts mostly in three or multiples of three are known as monocotyledon such as grasses and sages. Plants with two cotyledons, broad leaves with net venation, taproot or fibrous roots, flower parts usually in fours or fives are known as dicotyledon, such as yellow wood sorrel. Now let's look at the families of the world's worst weeds, as identified by Hall. Two weed families that we are going to look at make 68% of the 200 species of the world's worst weeds of which Poaceae and Cyperaceae account for 27% and when Esteraceae family are included, they become 43%, which makes them nearly half of the world's worst weeds. Atrexon hispidus is commonly known as small carpet grass. It belongs to the family Poaceae and it has 44 numbers of weed species. Rumex optusifolius is commonly known as bitter dog, belonging to the family Polygonaceae, and it has eight numbers of weed species. Coinoplectus mucronatus 
is commonly known as bog bulrush. It belongs to the family Cyperaceae and it has 12 numbers of weed species. Parthenium hysterophorus is commonly known as Parthenium weed, belonging to the family Asteraceae or Compositae. It has 32 numbers of weed species. Malvestrum coromandelianum is commonly known as three lobe false mellow. It belongs to the family Malvaceae and it has four numbers of weed species. Oxybasis chinopodiotis is commonly known as low goose food. It belongs to the family Chinopodiaceae and it has four numbers of weed species. Solanum species, commonly known as horse nettle, belongs to the family Solanaceae and it has four numbers of weed species. Convolvulus arvensis, commonly known as morning glory, belongs to the family Convolvulaceae and it has five numbers of weed species. Brassica kabar, commonly known as wild mustard, belongs to the family Brassicaceae and it has seven numbers of weed species. Euphorbia species, commonly known as crown of thorns, belongs to the family Euphorbiaceae and it has five numbers of weed species. Crown of thorns is not really a weed, however, it is shown here so as to provide a visual of plants belonging to Euphorbiaceae. Alternanthera sicilis is commonly known as sicile joyweed and it belongs to the family Amaranthaceae. It has seven numbers of weed species. Frifolium ripens is commonly known as white clover and it belongs to the family Leguminaceae. It has six numbers of weed species. Classification based on habitat. They are categorized as terrestrial weeds and aquatic weeds. Terrestrial weeds are found in cropland, such as field crops, vegetables, and orchards. These are one of the most important habitats. They are mostly imitators or wild relatives of the crops. These include many annual and perennial weeds. They are also found in rangeland, areas characterized by grassland and shrubland used for animal grazing. Rangeland is dry, until and has extensive environment. Here, weeds are commonly perennial, belonging to the family Asteraceae. Weeds are either directly or indirectly harmful to large grazing animals, such as leafy spurge and yellow star thistle. Other similar areas are garden, wasteland, lawn, and pasture. Aquatic weeds are adapted to living directly in the water. They can be floating, which are further categorized as free floating or rooted floating submerged, emerged, and amphibious. They can reduce water quality and water supply. Some of the most prevalent aquatic weeds include water hyacinth and hydrilla. Floating weeds are the plants growing unattached or rooted with floating leaves. Submerged weeds are species growing entirely below and up to the water's surface. Emerged weeds are species growing in shallow water with leaves or stems above the water surface. And FABS weeds are suited to both land and water. Classification based on invasiveness. A plant that is both non-native and able to establish on many sites, grow quickly and spread to the point of disrupting plant communities or ecosystems are known as invasive plants. In agricultural settings, Non-native plants are considered invasive only if they invade minimally managed or natural areas. Non-native plants are introduced by humans intentionally or unintentionally to a new place or new type of habitat where it was not previously found. When in new locations, these invaders often lack natural enemies to curtail their growth, enabling them to overrun native plants and ecosystems. Classification based on economic importance. They are categorized as absolute weeds and relative weeds. Absolute weeds are the ones which have no economic value, such as Euphorbia hirta, Amaranthus pinosus, and Anagallis arvensis. Relative weeds are the ones which have some economic importance, such as Sakaram munja and Typha latifolia. They are used in cottage industry. And some more examples include Phalaris, Avena ludovinciana, and Cyanodon dactylon are used as fodders. Classification based on day length. 
Daylen classification is based on the photoperiodic response of plants, which accounts for the effect of daylen on flowering and reproduction. There are three distinct groups. Short day weeds are stimulated to vegetative growth with delayed flowering and maturity when the days are long and produce flowers and fruits when the days are relatively short, such as cockleburr and lamb's quarter. Long day weeds require a relatively long day for the formation of inflorescence, but they increase in vegetative growth when the days are short, such as henbane and dog fennel. Day neutral weeds, such as nightshade, will flower under any photoperiodic conditions. This method of classification is not used for weeds to any extent due to insufficient studies. Classification based on physiology. They are categorized as C3 and C4 photosynthetic pathway. All plants do not have the same photosynthetic pathway. Some plants using Kelvin Benson pathway are exclusively termed C3 plants since the first stable product of photosynthesis, PGA, or phosphoglyceric acid has three carbon atoms. They make up approximately 95% of plant species. Some common examples are broadleaf plantain, jimson weed, and common mullein. And in some plants, the first stable photosynthetic compound is 4-carbon compound or organic acids, such as oxaloacetate, malate, aspartate, and these are known as C4 plants. They make up 4% of all plant species. These plants are better competitors, especially when the temperature is high. Example, tropical grasses and red-rooted pigweed. Photosynthetic pathway classification is important especially for weed and herbicide physiologists since there are several variations in the physiology, biochemistry and morphology of C3 and C4 weeds. Because of these differences, C4 weeds are more efficient than C3 weeds as far as photosynthesis is concerned. A third type of photosynthetic pathway is Cresolean Acid Metabolism or CAM. They make up less than 1% of plant species. These species include succulent plants.